Hello, I'm Kenneth D. King, and we are going to be sewing with fake fur. I love to sew with fake fur. There are short napped furs, there are long napped furs. These all present their specific challenges. When you're sewing with fur, the fur has to be the star, so the patterns have to be fairly simple. Also, when you're sewing with fur, you need particular seam methods of construction, which I'm going to cover. A lot of the information that I'm presenting here is gleaned from years of taking apart old vintage coats. So this particular information works well on fake furs and if you so choose natural furs. Here we have a fantasy leopard. This is an interpretation of a leopard, but it's not a strict recreation of a leopard. It's a very, very soft, short-haired fur. Next to it is this lovely spotted fur. This is more like velvet. This is very, very short, very, very flexible. Right next to it is just a medium length solid color fur. Very, very smooth. And another in the same variety. This one here is really, really lovely. Some of these furs have pelt markings and other distinguishing characteristics that really, really make them look like natural furs but they are indeed imitation. This one here and the one next to it, these are imitation fox. And the new furs are so convincing that you could really, really fool someone to think that this is a real fur. And last, we have the fantasy furs. This is called feather, and it's a very fun fur that you can order in natural colors or you can order it in any color of the rainbow.